Yellow solution, please post anonymous. I am a man in mid 40s. I saw other people testifying and I really appreciated the show. Over these years, I have been always shy to expose my legs, but I feel it's the right time to do it. The owner of the kettle we store used juju against us. It was in 2004. My wife eloped to our house. I was not ready to be a husband and I was about to escape from my house. The aim was to run away from responsibilities. I came to a point I was even suicidal. For other boys in the village, if a girl eloped to him, the parents would temporarily take responsibilities for few months till the guy find means. This was different in my case. I was an orphan who did not have a single parent. Since birth, I stayed with an adopted family doing work in the garden. They say my grandmother was their neighbor at a mine the father worked. The family only knew my grandmother was from Zambia. After years, the family stayed next to next my grandmother. Granny passed away. I was still a baby. No relative came to Monier. The family volunteered to take me and I stayed with them for years. They raised me just like other kids with parents. Went to school and everything I require as a child. With time, the mother and the father died. I was left with the children. The children said they were going to continue staying with me just like what their parents did. Yes, they fulfilled their promises, but they were ill-treating me. Unlike their parents, they treated me like a servant, not a child. So when the girl eloped to the house, it was like the end of the world to me. The next day after she eloped, we moved out and start working as gardener and maid at this other house. That work was temporary. The full-time workers were out on holiday. I was overthinking that during that period. When the days were moving, there was this friend of me in the neighborhood. We planned to go to the village to steal cattle. I can't mention the village, but we store two cattle and sell to a businessman. We have butcheries. After giving the money, we went straight to the bar. After drinking a first course, our legs were in pain. It was like the legs were on hot water. We thought it was drunkness, but tomorrow morning the legs were looking weird. With time, the legs started developing hairy till it became leather. Now the legs are fully turning to be that of a cow. My wife ran away from me because she was afraid to stay with me. Maybe she thought I used dark magic. My friend, I stole the kettle with committed suicide because of this problem. My wife left me. She was nursing me. Now I don't have who to cry to. I stole the kettle because I wanted to look after my family. I am thinking to end my life and follow my friend. But who will look after my child? What's your advice to me? Am I still a human being? Yellow Solution Uncle, please publish this one for me. I tried so many platforms, but I received few responses. My story is a bit complicated, but I'll try. I'll try to make it straight. My husband had a twin brother. They looked 100% the same. His twin was not married. One of them died last year in a car accident and family said it's his brother that died. Fine. When time went after cleansing, we had sex and I could sense something was wrong. I don't know what is it, but I don't feel this guy. I think the one that died was my husband. There's something wrong about this one that I can't explain. Please guys, what can I do? I feel like I'm cheating on my husband. You think they made a mistake. My husband is the one 
that died. Yellow Solution Uncle, I am in my early 20s. I have not yet reached 25. I was dating this dude who is 32. Guys, our relationship was okay until this August. Okay, things started to change when he found out that he was HIV positive and I tested negative. Mind you, we have been together for three years now. I am writing this with the heart. We broke up because he thought I was not there for him enough and he said I have changed. I didn't want to fight with him. I accepted the breakup since my mom was hospitalized during our breakup. I told him to come to my place to get his clothes but he refused. He wanted me to send them via pep. Apparently, he despised my side that how he hated me. Guys, I was there for him from day one when he tested positive. I had so many questions but because he was still fragile, I waited not to ask him. I fed him while he was sick because he didn't take his medication ARV. I was there when he started having symptoms. When he used to have sleepless nights, I was there to wake up him during the night. Guys, I was there when he got admitted at hospital. Not even one of his family members came to visit. It's been three months since he blocked me. We never talked. Yesterday he unblocked me and told me I want my clothes when I. After I've begged him to come to get his belongings, he is telling me that he is going to come with the police. If I throw them away, he will make me pay for them. I don't mind paying for the clothes because I threw them away after he told me that he no longer need them and blocked me. What hit me is the disrespect he is giving me. He even told me that he moved on. He got a new girlfriend. Yo, guys, I don't want him back, but the tongue is giving me. I went to the police today to ask what can I do in such situation. They told me to do a protection order. Guys, I want to repay for his clothes. I think it might cost 5,000 rands because they are all labels. But the disrespect, yo, we ended up arguing. He told me that you be there to attack me. Yellow Solution Uncle and Family, please post this one anonymous. I did abortion six months ago and the baby was three months when I did it. So I did some chat with an old lady last week Monday at the clinic. I told her about the abortion and what has been happening to me. She told me that all the bad things you're helping me is because of the abortion. She said ancestors are not happy. I should go see someone and cleanse. I don't have money now. Can anyone tell me how to cleanse myself with warm remedies? I can use your help right now. No negative comments, please. The next confession is strictly for the people above the age of 18. All viewers below the age are advised not to watch or listen. Yellow, please post for me and make anonymous. So I don't want to confess. I actually have a question. The question is concerning my little sister who is 14, turning 15. So I normally bath with my sister on different bath tubs. We bath in the room not so long ago, like three days back. He is gazer. Then I happened to accidentally or by mistake looked at her punani and her bin is popping out. So I want to know if it's possible for the bin to pop up even if one is not yet sexual active. Guys, which medication I can use? A traditional healer to stop my wife from loving sex. My wife is like sex too much, like every day. I've been using a Viagra for a long time to satisfy my wife. Cobra tablets, Mpesu from Venda. I also drink NH drinks to have strength every day. Now the problem is 
about to have a kidney failure this thing uh, uh damaging me cause i'm planning to end this marriage but i like my wife i need a medicine so that she can drink to stop this thing of wanting sex every day we went to see a doctor they said nothing wrong with her even prophets and sangomas said there is nothing wrong about her even here she is confused about this thing cause once i undress if i am bathing or changing clothes if she took at my if you look at my private she needs it i need your help please hello uncle and family what you publish my story i am a man from south africa age 25 came here in finland through a learning scholarship what happened is that i passed my matrix but my parents could not afford my tertiary education fees studied hunting for a scholarship on my own till i found one in finland i discovered the scholarship link in a telegram group proceeded the papers and moved to finland life started boring few weeks after arriving it was not easy to cope up with the new environment to worsen it i met a man at the university he approached for love to me keeping on convincing me even though i told him i can't date a partner of same sex one day i fell sick and rushed to the a local clinic which i can't mention for my own security reasons was attended and recovered the doctor came to my bed to my surprise that was the same man approaching me in campus in two weeks time i started seeing changes on my body i am becoming a woman i suspect the doctor guys is this reversible can anyone please help me i am about to finish my degree program i don't know how i explain to my people especially my parents when i return to south africa firstly and foremost i'd like to thank everyone who confessed thank you so much guys ladies and gentlemen for sharing your stories with us uh in life sometimes we learn from other people's mistakes sometimes we learn from our own mistakes sometimes we learn from what is happening in other people's lives uh so i like to thank you so much for sharing such uh, powerful stories uh, the first confession my brother after, out of after your girl eloped you was afraid ah i'm going to be the responsible father and he went to steal cattle and now Uh, the owner of the kitchen is so used the juju against you now you have developed um kettle legs ah oh. ah uh, thank you so much my brother for sharing of land stealing is not good at all stealing is the worst thing from now i believe we all believe stealing is the worst thing so you don't have to steal other people's products or services uh what you only need to do is repent start fasting and praying confess in front of your relatives and friends uh and start a fresh a new life go to church every weekend at least one day per week you should go to church you should have a sabbath day be a christian bring yourself closer to god and it's very easy to bring yourself to closer to god is only that you need to pray then you'll be closer to god so ladies and gentlemen if you're still tuning in this is african confessions hd uh, right here on extra on africa with your number one solution anko and ladies and gentlemen uh, ladies and gentlemen this this thing i am repeating each and every day i think i will stop next year ladies and gentlemen we are about to enter into the festive season a lot of people relax uh during that period a lot of people relax they say ah no uh this is time to be to enjoy our, ourselves let's pray before going to those rural areas before going to those villages pray 
before visiting uh, those relatives let's pray before traveling pray 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 and pray and god will set us free god will never let us down that's the truth god will never let us down yes ladies and gentlemen we need to pray when you wake up in the morning say god thank you for this wonderful day a lot of people were crying to be alive by today but you have chose me to be alive it's because of your your kind heart my god the father of fathers the king of kings in the afternoon you need to pray before going to bed you need to pray before sleeping before traveling you need to pray 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 and pray that's the only thing which will set us free mm. this is the only way out that's solution angle for you mm. I, I thank you so much guys for the support you are showing to extra on africa uh may god bless you may god bless your hustles until we meet again that was the show bye for now